Well, hello and welcome to the second attempt at... Well, hello and welcome to the second attempt, or I guess the third attempt now, at recording this video. Um, I have played Satisfactory for about a little less than 300 hours now. I've had a ton of fun, and uh, before starting over, which is ultimately what I want to do, I wanted to quick show off my first world that definitely has no cheating involved in it. Uh, to start, as I'm getting to my first area that I ever built, um, Satisfactory is a game where you mine resources to build things so that you can build other things, so that you can build other things, so that you can build other things. The whole goal is to progress through the system where you're building things to build other things. Off in the distance here, you can see right where I started. Um, I didn't know that you were supposed to explore this vast world, uh, so I just kind of set up shop the first place I landed. Uh, it was pretty, it was fine. It was fine for me. I, it had its iron, it had some copper over there, I think, I, before I found that over there. Um, and it was a mess. It was a complete mess. And so if you see r right, right, these little, these little boxes over there, those are all um, left over because I didn't have enough room in my inventory when I was breaking stuff down. Uh, so that's kind of a garbage pile over there that I never truly cleaned up other than just deleting a bunch of bullshit. After I finished up over here, I built this, which is my main, well, I guess, I don't know if it's my main factory now, but it was my main factory um, in, in tier two of my, if my, uh, of my first world. Um, we started off with an iron uh, uh, assembly line on the, the second floor, which actually, I just go in there. So on the first floor, we can see that there are just a bunch of these crates. I didn't count. I didn't know how many resources I was going to use. I didn't do any research. I just started building. Um, and I built this place big enough to house almost all of the resources I could need, but not quite. So as you can see, all of these have different things in them. You got your steel pipes, your rubber, your rotors, plastic, wire. You, wait, you get it. So this is where everything was supposed to be ending up. Uh, back here is where everything is delivered. So I, I made, I made a lot of, I made it so that it shouldn't ever back up, or it, it takes a long time for it to completely back up. Um, because basically what's happening is all of the resources are being pulled into this back storage container. And then all of the storage containers are then connected all the way up to the front. And then the second to last one uh, is the overflow or the, um, yeah, the overflow sort of thing where I send uh, unneeded resources to uh, wherever they are needed uh, in different assemblers and whatnot. Things are not fully optimized, as you can see. Another reason why I wanted to start over. So all the resources fill up this first one. Once this thing is full, they can go on to live their lives in other areas, making steel or encased beams or whatever. Anywho, so I went off and made the second floor, which, as I was saying before, is my iron factory. Uh, it's where we're making our screws, our iron plates, iron rods and what not. Um, I think we're also making in, uh, the, the heavy plates or whatever they're called. Who cares? It's just a game. It used to be a little more organized and then I started building other things. So now it's a spaghetti mess, but who cares? It's indoors, nobody can see it. Over here we got our copper factory. I said, you know what? This is all the copper factory I'll ever need. And I was sort of right. Anyway, moving on to floor three, we have a little more of uh, an exciting uh, bit of smelting going on, a little more exciting production, making some uh, black powder, uh, which you can use for the gun and the bombs, I believe, which were fun. Uh, you can see nothing there. You can see we're also making the uh, pipes and the steel beams which are being sent on to floor three, four, I don't remember, which is uh, the final floor of production I, in this base, 
where we have basically everything leading up to our two manufacturers, making it a heavy modular frames and the computers, which are slow as shit. And if there was something I would were to do in this world, it would be to uh, build more computer things. I'll pay no mind to these. They're nothing. They're not, they're so, I mean, they're, they are item teleporters, which pretty much render uh, conveyor belts useless. It's not, che it is cheating. It is cheating. Um, I got that very late in the game after I f finished pretty much everything. Once I built turbo motors, I was like, what do I do now? And um, I found mods is what happened. You'll see more of that later. Anyway, after I had finished this, I uh, said, hey, I need more power. And these, uh, these uh, organic whatever the hells are uh, uh, the uh, furnaces. I don't remember. The furnaces just aren't doing it for me. So what am I going to do? Coal, of course. Now, the coal used to be just, like, scattered around here, um, which was terrible. Uh, I was pulling water from over here. You can see I, I reorganized over there. Pulling water from over here, and I just, I just, there were just coal plants everywhere. So I did a mass deletion of those, moved uh, some of them over right by the water so I didn't have to pipe the water in, just have to pipe the electricity in. And also, in my search for, what was actually a search for water at the time, I found a place over here. Um, before item and people teleporters, before I found those mods, and if you're playing the game regularly, you use hypertubes. And so for hours and hours, I uh, made hypertubes. You can see two of them running consecutively here. Um, that's because I'm an idiot and didn't know that you could put an entrance on either side. So I made two. We'll just fast forward the rest of this. So I had really thought I hit the jackpot here. I mean, look at all this water. Incredible, right? Can't hardly believe it. I built like four of these and I was like, I'm good to go. That's enough power for me. Turns out it wasn't, but it did, it did hold me over for It did hold me over for a while. I guess we'll just go back now. All right. Uh, this is why we use teleporters now, because that takes forever. And here you got the hub, which is how you uh, progress through the game. And that's nothing... In order to progress through the game, you need to give the space elevator... Well, you need to give this various types of materials, which you can get by building materials, obviously. But also, to unlock new tiers, you need to give the space elevator random-ass shit. Here's the space elevator. Random shit that's only good for the space elevator which is kind of annoying, which is why I built this secret dirty little base right here, which is what I use to build space elevator items because they're good for literally nothing but progressing through the game through the space elevator. My third area after I did the power plant was, well, I was doing, I think, a bigger search for coal, something like that. No, I needed coal and and water. It was another thing that I really, really needed. You know, I, I, in the interest of not bullshitting, I'm not actually completely sure why. Anyway, I went all the way out there. Can you see that? Well, there's an easier way to get there. We're here. I honestly, I wish, oh, maybe I was doing oil. I was, uh, uh, the next step in the whole progress was oil. And so I found oil. I think I put it in this box here. Here's your oil extractor. Got a bunch of these uh, refineries making plastic and rubber and, uh, and fuel, which I then have spaghettied all over the place. 
So here's a layer of fuel generators. Oh, what's going on here? I don't like red. Not getting enough fuel, you say? I can't be distracted. There's another layer of fuel generators below this. So for a minute, I was pretty good on I thought there were more. Oh, there's some. Um, I was pretty good on power for a minute. So the next step was uh, figuring out how to get more power, which was really nuclear at that point. So I unlocked the nuclear power and uh, became very nervous about waste and the radiation that comes with, um, with nuclear power because I didn't want my base to be irradiated. So it's actually faster to do this. Let me put on my hazmat suit and we can go check out the... Well, that's not the nuclear power, that's nuclear power. One moment, please, while I connect you to nuclear power. Fantastic. That's where we just were. Anyway, so I can't fly here because I'll get killed by the radiation. But basically, uh, we have a whole... Oh, wait, can I get up here? There we go. Basically, we have a whole production line of uh, things you need to make nuclear power... Nuclear uranium fuel rods which are uh, what you need to toss into the nuclear power plant, and they give you just an ass ton of power. As you can see here, I am a doing all right, except for the water. Don't worry about it. When you're making nuclear power, uh, you will have nuclear waste. And that's where this part comes in. See, that's where we just were. Now with update four, which just dropped like a couple months ago, you can get the save, thank you, uh, get the collider, particle, whatever, and make uh, things that you can then put into the sink. The sink is what you use to get tickets, and the tickets you can use for fun points. In terms of nuclear waste, this is the only way to get rid of it and have it be deleted forever. Before, people had to put it into, like, giant containers, like, way far away from their base and it just stockpiled there's not a, a lot that's created but it's enough so pretty grateful that i got to come in at a time where uh i could just uh put it directly into the sink and the sink just dispose it just uh, it just basically deletes it so that's kind of nice looks like we're a little backed up there bud on the radiation or the radioactive materials hopefully that's not a problem one more section to show you, I believe, and then I can talk briefly. Is this it? No, this is this is where I get my um, uranium. Ah. Um, yeah, so basically I just put into an item teleporter. This is what item teleporters are really good for. I was going to have a drone system here where the drones would pick them up and drop them off. The problem with drones is that they're uh, miserable. <laughs> they're uh, uh, hard to set up. Batteries are hard to make and I couldn't be bothered when I had item teleporters. So I just used item teleporters. My last section, or I'll, I'll talk about two sections. First, this. This is my just special production tower. If I ever need more screws or I need more copper things, if I need more simple things created to make the rest of my uh, uh, factory work better and faster, what I do is I create them here. I just put another layer on and I put a few factory pieces in there. Uh, and then I send them off with item teleporters, with it, which isn't cheating. And then that's my quickware factory. Here is the final sort of base that I had created, which uh, is pretty much surrounding turbo motors. It's building things to build things to build things to make turbo motors. We got some radio control units. You can see I've got a lot of crystal. Lots of crystal. That's coming in through the train. And actually, I can show you the Crystal Kingdom. But first, uh, I built this one top down, which is weird. I don't recommend it. But one floor down. We ha Don't worry about all these item teleporters. We have our aluminum factory where we're making the casing and the... And the... This, which is, of course, out, 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 that. And then one more layer down. We're doing something with nitrogen here. 
because we need to make, ah yes, the fused modular frame. And then we'll just go one more layer down. This is not quite the final layer. Here we're making, basically this is just cooling systems. Yeah, this is entirely cooling systems. Pay no attention to this mess. And then here, turbo motors. Just making turbo motors here. We need to optimize can radio control units, apparently, to make this run faster. But, you know, I have a lot of turbo motors. And that's kind of like the last thing that you can really build right now with the, uh, with the game as it is. Let me show you. Oh no, this is my sulfur. Apologies. It's this one. Yes. This is my crystal kingdom. This is where we're mining crystal. I remember hearing that you needed crystal real bad. Like you need a lot of it. Um, and so I was like, oh, I gotta go all in, all out on this. So now I'm making, probably it would be considered too much crystal and silica. Uh, and transporting it with this uh, intense and intricate network of one train line. If uh, you're one of uh, the poor quality boys watching this, thanks for making it all the way through. Um, if you have questions about it, you know how to reach me. Uh, if you are uh, some rando that I don't know watching this, welcome. Satisfactory is a game that I do love and enjoy, and I'm hoping to uh, start over uh, soon and, and perhaps make a series out of it and maybe involve some of the other poor quality boys as well. Uh, if you have any questions about, uh, about the base or, um, or how I got uh, 146 of these power shards, it has nothing to do with cheating. I did kind of go, I went a little crazy at the end. I finally built the turbo motor like legit. And then I was like, but I want to build everything faster. I guess I'll look up mods. And I found some good ones, which were like the teleporter's really nice. Item teleporter feels like cheating. So I don't know if I'll use that in the next build, but you know, we'll see. The power shards. Uh, you can use a mod that where you can just like build them. Uh, they're kind of expensive, but like I was at a point where I was building everything anyway, so I just routed stuff and I made tons of them. So I don't really know what the community is feeling on. So I don't really know what the community's feeling on that sort of modding is. Based on the Reddit, people talk a lot about doing things, you know, like in the vanilla game without mods, which I think is very admirable. And I did that for a long time. But there gets to be a certain point where you're like playing this game and there's just an absurd amount to do. And, you know, some people may have lives outside of it. I personally love the idea of cheat uh, modding. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my base tour. Um, there's a lot more that I could go into detail. So let me know if you want me to go deeper into detail here. Otherwise, I uh, plan on uh, starting fresh uh, soon. So be on the lookout for that. And if you're one of the boys, I'd love to have you join. Later.